What's the downtime for a tummy tuck and BBL? My advice would be to plan around two to three weeks off. What are your options for loose skin without getting a tummy tuck? Great question. I think the two best options are Renuvion, which is formerly known as J Plasma and Morpheus 8. The difference is Renuvion is internal skin tightening while Morpheus is external skin tightening. Do patients experience lots of pain after J Plasma? The answer is no. J Plasma does increase the amount of inflammation. So I do notice that patients have a little bit more inflammation or swelling. However, the pain from the procedure is usually associated to the liposuction portion of it. What is the cost for a mommy makeover? Mommy makeovers usually involve both breast and body work. Because there are so many different procedures that you can perform depending on the patient's goals, it's best to shoot us a DM, have a consultation so we can go through it thoroughly. Will scars from a BBL disappear after a while? While the scars fade, it would be misleading to say they completely disappear, but in most patients, they fade enough where they're barely visible. How many days should I stay in town after a BBL? We have a lot of out-of-town patients. I recommend my patients stay in LA for about a week. I have lupus. Can I still get cosmetic surgery? The answer is yes. However, we need to always proceed safely, which means that we would need medical clearance. The lupus would be have to be under control and we would have to get recommendations from your primary care or rheumatologist that it's safe to proceed. Why would you need another round for a BBL? It's really simple. Patients want more. Sometimes after their first round, they look amazing, but there are a percentage of patients who after one surgery still feel like they want more volume. And if they do, they elect to undergo a round two. When you repair diastasis, how long does it take for the stitches to dissolve? Surgeons may elect to use either dissolvable stitches or absorbable or non-absorbable stitches. It depends on the surgeon. I use a stitch that is absorbable, meaning that it will go away, but it takes around six months to a year. However, there are a lot of surgeons who use what's called a permanent suture, which means it will never dissolve. I don't think there's a right or wrong or a better or worse. It just depends on the surgeon's preference. When you get a tummy tuck, do you lipo the abdomen first? I heard that the abdomen does not get lipo. So this is an interesting question because that philosophy of not liposuctioning the abdomen is an old school philosophy that came from the 90s. Uh, currently, 2020, there's a much different philosophy out there that you can liposuction the abdomen. Short answer is every tummy tuck liposuction procedure should involve liposuction of the abdomen because without it, it's gonna leave a very uneven, full abdominal look. Does J Plasma, also known as Renuvion, tighten the skin as well as the tummy tuck? The answer is no. Do not think that the J Plasma or Renuvion replaces a tummy tuck. What it is is an alternative. For patients who don't want scars, more downtime, more recovery, J Plasma is an alternative because it helps and it works, but it's not gonna be as powerful as a tummy tuck. Can you have fat transferred after a breast off to, to give upper pole fullness? The answer is yes, it's a great indication for it. Um, usually, if you have a breast augmentation and you're looking for either, either more upper pole fullness or medial fullness, which means cleavage, then fat transfer is a great option. How do you know if you're gonna need to lift with breast implants? Um, a lot of it depends on the relationship of the nipple to the crease. Another thing depends on the patient's measurement. So these are two things that we go over during your consultation. If you want more information, shoot us a DM and we'll send you a video that we have that talks about this in great detail. What procedure do you recommend for a double chin? I usually perform liposuction of the neck and jawline and I tighten the skin in the area with either Renuvion and or Morpheus. Can we see more chin liposuction? I get this a lot. The issue is that when you expose the chin and neck, you typically show the face and 99% of my patients who do not wanna have their face and neck and chin exposed. Can I get a mini neck lift and a BBL at the same time? The answer is yes. I would be doing your 360 fat transfer or BBL. However, a facial surgeon who I work with, we perform in the neck lift portion of the surgery. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, drop us a comment, give us a like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.